Hey what's up guys welcome to fine gap and in today's video I'm going to teach you how you can add an icon in an input field in react js so without any delay let's start first of all you can see that I have created a react js project using wheat next I will open this app.tsx and we need to remove all of this content from this return statement I will also remove these both logos because I don't need them and also I need to remove this both use state now I will open the terminal and run my application by typing npm run dev command and you can see that this is the current output of my application to use react icons in our react project first of all we need to add them so I will open the Google and here I will search react icons add CMD command you can search any query I will open this first link and here you can see that we need to type this command in our terminal and now I will press enter so this will add react icons in our project so react icons are added now for example if you want to use any icon so first of all I will search for react icons and here I will type here Apple on the left top side I will search for Apple and then for example if I want to use this icon I will simply click on this so first of all we need to import this icon from here so you can directly copy this import statement and paste here and now I will create another component so if you want to create multiple input fields in your project you can reuse that component you can also create a separate file or you can create that component in your app.tsx so I will type here function icon input and here inside the return statement I will type a div and now for example we want to use this icon input here so I will create a div and I will give a class to this like input wrap inside this div suppose I want to use this icon so I will type here this and that's it and as a children we need to pass our icon so I will again copy this icon from here and paste here like this next we also need to pass some props like placeholder Apple ID and type is equal to text when you create reusable components so if you think each property that can be changed when you will use this in your application you can pass that property as a props maybe that can be a text any style or maybe like icon or something else and this became our react components to reusable throughout throughout our project next here i need to create a class named wrap the reason why i'm giving these classes so i can style them and again i will create a div with class icon hyphen wrap and now here we need to receive the props that we are passing here so first of all I will type here children so children will contain the react icon that we are passing here and similarly I will pass comma and we need to receive this placeholder and this uh, type of the input field so we have received the three props next after this second div I will create an input and I will remove type from this because we have passed our type in our prop so I will copy and paste this type here and uh, next again for placeholder uh, we will use the same placeholder that we are passing in our props and inside the div with class icon wrap we will pass our children inside this so now we know that children is basically our icon so the reason why I structured my HTML like this because the CSS I am going to my this input field uh, require the same structure as I have right maybe you can use another structure but if you will follow me then you will get the same results if I show you uh, currently I have zoom in my screen we have an icon and simple input field but now we have to bring this icon in our input field to do this I have to write some CSS first of all I will copy this wrap class as you can see that I have uh, it is already included the app.css in our app.tsx component so now we need to open this css file and from here i will remove all of this default style and here i will add my wrap class and here we need to type display flex and position relative relative this is very important uh, you have to provide position relative and then let me define a height for example 50 pixel and a width for your input and for instance I will define a width of 500 pixel here 
and next I will type margin auto and now if I open app.tsx okay now you can see that uh, display flex to align our input and icon in a same row position relative because uh, in our child means in the here we need to define position absolute for this so that's why for the parent I means for the class wrap you need to provide the position relative and similarly we have defined a height for our input uh, 50 pixel because I have zoom in my screen to 500 percent that's why this is looking very uh, big okay one more thing let me copy this uh, input wrap class and here we need to paste this class and display flex justify content center and width would, width would be 100 view widths okay i need to check why this is not full screen okay wrap okay uh it means we need to give this property justify content center to our wrap class here so now items are in the center you can see that and uh, okay no 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 you need to remove this cut this class and let me zoom out first of all and now one more thing we need to copy this icon wrap class and paste here so now this basically this is the icon parent okay so this is our icon and its parent class and i will type here position absolute height would be 100 percent and uh, because we have defined a parent height to 50 pixel so its height 100 percent means 50 pixel of height height and similarly we need to define some more properties like width you need to define a constant width for example 40 or 50 pixel and then i will type here a font size to increase the size of our icon like 30 pixel let me show you the our output okay now you can see that the because we have defined the position absolute so that's why this icon is here and now we need to write some more css like play flex justify content center and align item center when you will write these three properties now you can see that it is exactly in the center position of our uh, center left position of our input because of this display uh, flex properties and uh, next uh, we have our input field and i will type padding left padding height hyphen left would be 40 pixel make sure the width you will define for icon wrap the same padding left you need to give to your input field and now your input field will look like this and uh, next we need to define a width 100 percent and again because we have defined a width uh, 500 pixel to our wrap class which is our parent class of this input so width 100 percent means 500 per pixel of width for this input and now you can see that if i zoom out totally you can see that our input will look like this but let me zoom in and now again obviously you can uh, control these the font size or other styles by using css but friends the main purpose was this is how you can add an icon inside an input field and now you can easily use this component uh, for your multiple input fields so i hope that this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section i will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and finally thanks for watching